Yeah, it's not every day you see one of these with a sleeper cab. No, I think it's the only one actually. I've seen a lot of them done as crew cabs. Yeah. Where they just put a second cab on behind the first one and splice it together. Well, it's got a soft top so it could support a ring mount down the road. Uh, if you look on the headache rack, there's a socket for a browning on the back. So. Okay. It's an Allison automatic, yeah. eight three Cummins. It's about 10 miles to the gallon. That's about what I get with my Tahoe pulling a trailer. My F-350 doesn't do that with the 460. But uh, the military replaces everything at 25 years on these things, even if they've only got 5,000 miles on them. Yeah. Well, I was hoping to be able to get a Cut V Blazer because yeah. usually those only have about uh, 40 to 50,000 miles on it. Right. And the one that I drove was 22 to 23 miles to gallon. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same motor that's in the Humvee, I think. No, the, that, that was a 6.2 uh, six in the Cut V. The Humvee was a 6.5. Yeah. That's a regular, well, it's a homemade pintle socket, but it takes all the standard vehicle pintles. Up there? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't give you much of a field of view over the roof. No, this thing is sweet. Yeah, I just got it on the road about two weeks ago. I kind of just taking it out for a shakedown cruise. I've got a couple hundred gallons of veggie fuel laying around. So how long did it take you to do all this with the oh, getting them? The winter. Just the winter? Okay. I happened to find the sleeper at a friend's truck shop right across the road. And I do metal fabricating, so the flatbed was pretty easy. Yep, standard. This is a 91. Really? Um, they built them from 83 to 92. What do they call them? Uh, five ton F932. Really got to slam those floors. Um, yeah, it was a semi tractor originally. Yeah. That's why it's so short. It's You can drive it with two fingers and one foot. It's hydraulic power steering, and you know, the automatic shifts just like your pickup truck. M9, what do you call it? 932 is what the tractor is, or they sell them as a longer flatbed. It's a 923, but it's just a five ton six by six is what they call it, and you don't have to have a CDL to drive them. As long no, because you, you're five ton rated. Yeah, as long as I don't keep go over twenty six thousand, because I'm running farm plates. Yeah. Uh, well, what's your gross? What's your weight empty? It weighs twenty one empty, so that doesn't give me a whole lot of room to haul. But but you could also tow. I can tow a lot. I want to get tow, tow probably close to twenty thousand pounds with it. I want to get one of those uh, the big ammunition trailers, the ones that have the air suspension and all that, because yeah. they sell those for a thousand bucks up out of Washington. Yeah. And uh, but those weigh ten thousand empty. These things originally had four batteries in a big box under the seat. I put two in that toolbox and just got rid of the other two, and then I put air seats in it on both sides and five inch straight stack K and N. I don't think it helped the performance much at all, honestly. No, it probably doesn't. It sounds cool, though. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's got a pretty good growl to it. Well, you get used to this because everywhere you go, you're going to get attention. Oh, yeah. So I get... I'm not going to be the only one pulling out a camera to take take uh, videos of this thing. It's going to be all over the Internet within a few years. Awesome. Uh, you know, I can drive through Myrtle Point in a blazing red Ferrari and nobody even notice it, but everybody wants to check this out. Oh, of course. I mean, I well, I heard it. And so I knew, okay, something's going on. So I turned around and I saw this pull up and then I saw the cab, the, the sleeper cab. I got to get something of this. Yeah, the cab's empty right now, except I've got a uh, military surgical cot in there, which Sportsman's Guide sells brand new for 80 bucks. Yeah. And it's actually seven foot long, so I can stretch out on it. I'm just going to do gun racks and some little food shelves and stuff in the cab there, and that'll be about it. But the hardest part was cutting the big pass-through into the sleeper. You know, I had to chop out most of the back of the cab yep. and cut up a brand-new soft top. That was kind of a that hurt. moment. <laughs> that hurts. They're, they're 315 bucks. They're not that bad. But uh, I had to build a whole substructure in there to support the back of the cab and everything. Yep. But it's, a, it's a fun little toy. That it is.